Uh, Dr Panya, you're a scientist, um, but what you have described to me from the evidence of all these people who've had these near-death experiences sounds very spiritual and very almost biblical to me. Um, it, it sounds like the description uh, that a Christian church, for example, might make of what might happen to you if you were called to the final day of judgment. D does it give you pause for thought? Does it make you a man of faith as well as a man of science? Well, I'm an intensive care doctor. My job uh, is essentially to prevent people who are critically ill from reaching the point where they go beyond the threshold of death, as Carol, uh, as occurred with Carol. Now, interestingly, I'm obviously I'm not a theologian, I'm not a philosopher, and I don't have a background that's very strong in these areas. But I'm not entirely sure if the descriptions that people bring back is necessarily consistent with any particular cultural or religious belief uh, system. What we now have begun to see is that people from all over the world, in essence, describe the same universal experience. But the interpretation of what they see depends on their own belief systems. So, for instance, a Christian who has a very strong near-death experience and sees a being of light may come back and tell you that they saw Jesus. But if you actually push them, they'll tell you, well, I assumed it was Jesus because that's what I was expected to see. And if, uh, if uh, uh, somebody who, say, a Hindu has the same experience, dies and sees a being of light that's full of love and compassion, they may come back and say they saw Krishna or any other deity. And on the other hand, an atheist who has the same experience will come back and say, well, I don't know why I had this experience because I didn't believe in anything, but remarkably, this is exactly what I saw. I don't know who it was, but it was this being that was full of love and compassion. Mm. So what we're finding now is that it's science that's beginning to guide our understanding of what happens when we die rather than say, a theological, philosophical, or personal opinion, um, as has occurred with the rest of science. There's no reason why the study of death should be limited to theology or philosophy or just personal belief systems. 